Hi and welcome back to Trendy Football where we discuss all things football. Today we're going to talk about 5 things you didn't know about a very special man in our hearts in the world of football, Ronaldo Nazario, El Fenomeno. The Brazilian is no question one of the greatest players to touch a football pitch. A two-time World Cup winner with Brazil, Ronaldo won multiple trophies over a storied career with the likes of PSV Barcelona, Inter Milan, and Real Madrid. Known for his goal-scoring abilities with more than 400 goals for club and country, he also dazzled us as one of the most technical visually appealing and impactful players that the game has ever seen, overcoming multiple injuries and obstacles in the process. While it's true that his career has been covered extensively throughout the years, there are a few facts that people are not familiar with about the Brazilian legend. So, here you have it, 5 things you did not know about Ronaldo Nazario. Number 5. He had a vasectomy. Ronaldo was not only a productive striker, but he was also quite a successful ladies man. Living in cities like Milan, Barcelona, and Madrid, the footballer was known for dating many different models and beautiful women throughout his life and marrying some of them in the process. From those relationships he managed to have four kids. After the birth of his fourth child Maria in 2010, Ronaldo felt the four was enough and had a vasectomy. Of course, Ronaldo is wealthy enough to take care of all of his kids and he has admitted that he has frozen some of his sperm in case that his current girlfriend, and I quote, wants to put on a football team. Yep, that sounds like Ronaldo alright. Number 4. He had a wedding over $800,000. Look, let's be honest here, when you are a world-class football player, have a bunch of sponsors and have played for the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid and the two Milan teams, you are going to have a lot of money to spare. And when Ronaldo spends money, he goes big on that, which was certainly the case with his wedding. As we previously mentioned, Ronaldo really loves women, and he has been engaged and married multiple times. No wedding was greater and more over the top than the one he had on Valentine's Day in 2005 with Brazilian model Daniela Siccarelli. Set in Paris at the Castle of Chantilly, the wedding was more symbolic than an actual legal procedure as both the bride and groom were still dealing with the respective divorces of their previous marriages that resulted in this act being more of a celebration of their love than them actually becoming a married couple. Sadly, this marriage didn't last. A month later Daniela got pregnant but sadly lost the baby in a spontaneous abortion. Their marriage ended on May 11th. Number 3. He was voted the number one sportsperson by Nike in 2003. Nike and Ronaldo is a relationship that has been quite prolific for both parties. The company has sponsored the Brazilian since the early stages of his career. He has been a part of some of Nike's most iconic football commercials, like the legendary 1996 Good vs. Evil commercial, also starring fellow Nike superstars Eric Cantona, Paolo Maldini, and Luis Figo. By the early 2000s, Ronaldo was widely regarded as one of the best players of all time and he was voted as Nike's number one sportsperson in 2003. That honor shows not only his degree of importance to the company but also the type of charisma that the Brazilian has. In fact, his former teammate at Real Madrid, English midfielder Steve McManaman, talked about his personality and natural charisma by saying, He could go in a restaurant, and I could go in with him, and you're not just there with close friends. He invites everybody. You'd be at a table with him and it'd be a judge sitting opposite talking to a politician with someone off the street listening in. So he just had this amazing aura, where everyone wanted to join him. Sometimes there'd be 20 to 30 people sitting at meal times with him. He was a wonderful person. Everybody would second that no matter what club he played for. If you're enjoying this video please give us a thumbs up as it will help Trendy Football grow as a channel. Number 2. He has enjoyed a nice business career after retirement. Nike once described Ronaldo as the most global of athletes back in 1998 and that is one of the many reasons he has managed to be so successful on a commercial level after his career. Despite having a net worth of 300 million euros when he retired back in 2011, Ronaldo has continued to stay active as a professional, developing a super successful business career. Despite venturing in many different types of businesses, they are all by and large sports related. Among his main businesses since 2011 there's his stake in North American Soccer League team, Fort Lauderdale Strikers, owner of Racing Team, A1 Team Brazil and owner of Sports and Entertainment Talent Agency 9, which represented clients such as Neymar and a number of notable UFC fighters, including Anderson Silva, Vitor Belfort and Junior Dos Santos. But of course there is one major investment in Ronaldo's post-football career that deserves its own number on the list. Number 1. He owns Real Valladolid. That's right. Ronaldo owns a football club in the top tier of Spanish football. 
It is no secret that Ronaldo loved his time playing in Spain for both Barcelona and Real Madrid football clubs. That was evident in 2018 when he announced that he was buying Real Valladolid, a small team in Spanish football with a ton of history and a strong fan base in the Iberian nation. The former footballer bought 51% of the club's controlling stakes for about 30 million euros and has gone on to invest to make the club strong in a transparent and consistent manner. When making the announcement, he stated, I have gone through many stages in my training in football to prepare for this. Football is all about passion. We want to build the best team possible to compete while also giving information about our management with transparency. There you have it guys. 5 interesting facts you may not have known about one of the greatest footballers of all time. Let us know which one of these facts were the most interesting. I'd have to admit that the second me one shocked us. Share your thoughts with us in the comment section down below. Like the video and subscribe to our channel for more trendy football videos. See you next time.